How are you doing guys and welcome back. Yep, welcome back to the wettest channel on the internet. And before I start, I would like to welcome all 7,300 new subscribers to the channel for the month of April. And welcome to the family and welcome to the show. And also, I would like to thank everybody because we have reached 280,000 subscribers worldwide and locally here in Florida. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And like you see, we're off to another water adventure here at Halover Marina in Miami. And we have the full crew today, even the two dogs, nobody stayed behind. gonna stop us because I don't trust Miami weather. It could be this ugly and within 10 minutes it'll be beautiful again. So that's what we're hoping for today. And we made it out here to my second home, our third home here at uh, Halo Sandbar. So let's go with the show. Hang it out water. And just in case you thought we were crazy to come out in bad weather like this. I'm gonna show you, there's a lot of crazies here in Miami. And a little bad weather is not gonna stop you if you really love being out on the water. And right now we're heading towards the sandbar because you see a lot of boaters there. But we're debating if to go to the sandbar or head over to Beer Can Island. Because me personally, I like Beer Can Island when it's bad weather because the island blocks a lot of wind. Plus, like usual, we made it to the ramp late. So we figured might as well find a spot early in the island and settle in for the night. And also something really cool about the Miami boating community, you could come during the week, anytime, and you're gonna find a few boats at the sandbar or at the island or just cruising around the intercoastal having some fun in the sun or in bad weather like today and by the way it's not the weekend yet today is friday Second favorite island here in Miami, beer can. And it looks pretty empty, so we got lucky because you know why it's empty? Because look at that. It's kind of scary, but it don't scare us. We're out here. So we're gonna anchor up and let's uh, have a late, super late lunch. And just in case you're wondering, why do I anchor backwards into the island? Well, the thing is this, if I drive the boat up to the sand, the problem is my bow is so high, I will have to jump off and I won't be able to get on. 
so I park it in backwards and it makes it easier. Plus, when the change of tie happens, the bolt tends to sway to the right or to the left. So like this, we stay right in the middle without moving or hitting anyone. The only thing you have to do is watch for the low tie and move a little forward so the engines don't hit the sand. And if you're wondering why I call it late lunch or early dinner, it's because we left the house at 2.30 and by the time we got to the ramp, it was 5 o'clock so we haven't ate lunch yet. getting all ready you know why it's getting all ready because look at that you see that over there over there it's coming was well, actually already starting to rain here so uh i guess it's gonna rain maybe about 10 minutes but it's not stopping us or them <laughs> so she's having a little snack before uh dinner or the really really late lunch what are you having oh mango let me get some. We were going to stop at the sandbar, but we decided since it's kind of uh, cloudy and rainy to come straight to beer can. Uh, to find a good spot for the night and uh, we're out the weather so uh, we're just here we're just here and you guys are here oh, we're here right so let's go with the show oh yeah again in a rainy rainy um, Friday afternoon here at Beer Island. Mm -hmm. So what's the rainy, uh, what do you call it? Um, Menu? No, recipe that you're oh. doing. Uh, chicken breast. Chicken breast? Some chicken. Chicken breast, some uh, ribeye steak. Oh, oh, oh look from at New that. York, New York strip, I'm sorry. New York strip, I know messed, you guys haven't up seen. The, messed up on the cut there. I know you guys haven't seen a lot of meat on the barbecue is because I'm cutting, trying to cut down on the, on the meaty part. She's having chicken, I'm having meat. She's having, I'm having a chicken, she's having the meat. Hey, that sounds personal. Shh. Well, she's having beef, I'm having chicken. Because the doctor told me to cut down on the, on the red meat and pork. So, it kind of hit me there. Because you know me, I love meat. Especially sausages, they got a lot of pork. So, I had to cut down, you know, just trying to, trying to diet a little bit. Uh, see how long I can last. But, we'll see how it goes. So the chicken for me and the beefy for her. And oh, there you go. You can't forget it. Smojo criollo and everything. It's a song completa. Where is it? Where's the song completa? I don't see. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there. Where is it? There it is. If you guys don't know what it is, I'm gonna show you what it is right there. It's a song completa and everything. Can't go wrong with that. But it's a, it's the mixture. That's the secret, right? The touch. <laughs> Oh, it's a touch. I gotta be touched by Chef Big Mama. Like, that's hot. Ah. So, look at that, boy. It looks good. Mmm, red meat. I want red meat. But I ain't gonna lie, though. I be sneaking little pieces here and there, you know. But it ain't like before, it was non stop. So, you know. I still have my little pieces, because I gotta have it. I'm a carnivore. Ah. All right, so. We, I was gonna do it on the barbecue, but look at that. But Big Mama got stuck again. What? What's that again? Big Mama got stuck cooking again. Because you cook so good. Nah, uh -huh, yeah, yeah. nah, that's the thing, you see? It started to rain harder. So my barbecue is outside and, uh, you know, I can't get my hair wet. You know what I'm talking about? I can't get my hair wet. So, we decided to do it here. On the faithful old, no, new skillet. Not old, this is the new one. 
This is the new skin, so. I'm making that, that New York strip first. When it's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> And the funny thing is, when I meet people in person, they tell me they don't really know how to characterize my channel. They don't know if you consider it family boating or family cooking. And I just tell them, you know what? I love doing both. So we could characterize it family cooking on the boat or on land. It doesn't matter because I enjoy both. Or you could always call it Fresco Channel. Well, it has been a long time since I smelled beef cooking and it sure smelled real good. So good that I had to steal a piece. And what do I always say? When they smell food, they come and here they come. And we have the first one out of the cabin, Gabby. And talking about kids, another question that parents ask me, how do I get my kids to eat everything that I give them? Because they get amazed how they see my kids on the videos, eat vegetables and, and other things that normally kids tend not to eat. The answer is simple. Just don't give them a choice. Give them the food, let them eat it, or go hungry. And believe me, they're not gonna go hungry because kids always wanna eat something. But the whole trick is, you have to start with it early. One more taste, one more taste. It's been such a long time. Meat is always meat. You never you go wrong. The taste of meat, I love it. It's been a long time, it's been like... No! I broke a bash, I ate a little bit of turraco. But it's been a long time, the wild feels good. Well, I really enjoyed the few pieces of beef that I ate, but now I'm eating the chicken tacos or fajitas, whatever you want to call them. But you know what the good thing? How they say after every storm, there's the sunshine. Well, it happened here, except for it's kind of late already. Actually, we're going to get to witness a unique sunset because the rays are coming through the clouds. Check it out. And if you guys notice and been watching my videos, you guys already know that I love watching the sunset because to me, it feels like the sun is saying goodbye and letting the night come in in a peaceful, natural transition. Like you saw, we came here raining, it stopped, it started again, we had dinner, but no matter what, it doesn't matter to me because as long as I'm on the water, it's okay, rain or shine. And now it's nighttime, so it's time to settle it in, but don't get too comfortable because tomorrow we went over to the sandbar and met up with some good friends that we have plenty of fun in the sun. And I got to do something that I haven't done in a long time and I really enjoy doing it. So remember to check in tomorrow for the next upcoming video. But if you missed it, make sure to check on the description for the link below or double check, make sure you have all your notifications turned on.